looks like he's stopped. You should be able to catch up. So, my dear friends, I'm back and it looks like I'm being brought. Scars. But other people are doing this instead of me, so... Really not working properly, as you could see. My character being brought into the middle of the mission. I'm not being sh sort of told, I'm not sure what actually is going on. And it just all seems really glitchy and unplayable, really. Let's see how this is going to work. Damage. Probably the one Sumner stole. 
Sumner's not in the crashed suit. He must have taken it off for some reason. So glitchy, so laggy, goodness knows what is to happen in there. Look at that. I can't even control my character because of the lag. bringing it to the other <sighs> and there's just completely nothing that I can do it's all on the server and any time you have multiplayer other people brought in it just doesn't seem to work Question is, is he going to bring me back in or what, what is going to happen? energy what's down there I don't know but Sumner has the manifold with him he came here for a reason
Be careful! Aerothon taking the manifold to a different rune would provide us with additional insight. Different rune, different energies. He was right. Boy, and Huey need a javelin to get out of here, and neither of them had the guts to borrow one. You mean, steal? Nothing works here. Look. How am I to move my character? We can't move it. Look at that. That's it. Got the data we need. The manifold just started going wild. Something unexpected about this place. I have to silence it, but I need time. A titan? No, more than one titan. Three titans. Wait, three. This glitching manifold. It's doing it again. Leave it to me and fix that relic. Other people in there. It wasn't just four of us. But considering the quantity of lag and problems there, it's just amazing we managed to finish the mission. It's the enemy not receiving any fire. 
and not receiving any damage. Very difficult to get from one place to another. And then just literally missing out on the whole thing. Not good at all. So I allegedly completed the addition. The expedition, I mean. Sage, Legionnaire medal I got now. Didn't do anything. 1800 experience points, expedition features. 150 XP. Alliance bonus. Adding alliance bonus. 150. Alliance tier nil, 1800 experience points, legionnaire medal. So we all got the same thing, right? Okay. So do I claim this loot or how, what do I do with it? Salvage. Don't understand. Very laggy, very glitchy, very technically inefficient and just one problem after another from loading, they called it infinite loading to lag in gameplay and then glitches where you can't kill enemies and they cannot kill you and everything else but the biggest problem I have is when I'm commencing with the mission I'm being brought to matchmaking and then matchmaking is not bringing me to the beginning of this mission but you know bringing me sometimes to the middle or to the end of it and it's absolutely of no use because I want to be experiencing the missions as they unravel basically the entire mission but well, I can confirm everything works perfectly here at the base. There's no glitch or lag at the base. The glitch and lag is occurring when we are getting into the arena, which is a multiplayer. So when we are facing action, then nothing works. Then it's just complete mayhem. And I've already gone on my third expedition and I feel that I have no experience with this expedition at all. In fact, yesterday, the expedition, which was so glitchy, I didn't have any other multiplayer uh, team members in there, so I could just walk around the area and explore every single bit, and that was actually the most enjoyable part of it. The only, bigger, the only big trouble I had was that it was so glitchy and so laggy that I couldn't easily walk to that uh, you know, open territory. So, But we are trying our best to test the demo, but I have to say, considering this is Bioware and Electronic Arts, my goodness, guys, sort it out. It really... I've seen at least... 200 messages on Twitter saying we are cancelling our pre-order and that's not what we want to see. We are supporting Bioware, we are supporting the game, we, we love Anthem, we want it to be the best possible but why not invest more money in service and all other things which are required on a technical front for the demo to work properly because you are having these problems this weekend when we are running this VIP demo and try to think what it's going to be like next weekend when the demo is open to literally everyone. I can't understand that for the life of me. I mean, what did you prepare the service for? For like 1,000 people pre-ordering? I mean, obviously you've gone gold already. The game has gone into production. So, you know... Look who it is. You certainly know how to put a javelin through its paces. Never just go for a stroll out there, do you? Do you expect any less? I shouldn't. You've got your sights set on the heart of rage. Not the first time for you either. But if anyone accepts the danger with the adventure, it's you. One day the world will catch up with me, but it hasn't so far. Two steps and a fair flight ahead. I took my son to Yarrow's Wall. 
He spent hours listening to the stories and learning about the people behind them. He says he's going to do awesome things. After lots of training. Smart man. Are you less worried about him becoming a freelancer? Oh, I'll always worry. I worry about all of you. You can't look after everyone. But I wouldn't ask you to stay put either. There's too much out there for you to do. Still, I put enough work into those javelins of yours. You better bring them back. Is that why you do it? Not everyone comes back. Happens every day. The little touches, they improve the suits, but they mean someone cares. You're not just another number. You said the fort's your home. Just my way of keeping the lights on for you. Always good to talk to Zoe. She's telling us all sorts of things about the base, her son. Freelancers and all the other niceties of our adventures. So uh, that's wonderful. What's wonderful is that everything here at the base works compared to the other where things do not work. So we need to go back to Matthias. Talk to him and find out whether he discovered any the condition of the trio as well. Awesome. I'll take a picture of that as well. Really good. It's funny because different areas are almost transformed when you get nightfall. So that's really good. There they are. Look at them. All three of them. So now we're going to talk to them. Your teeth are tinkling. The air tastes like <laughs> purple. The reality decay is getting worse. He's fragmenting. How can I help? It's all right. I made peace with it. This isn't just about you. It's the end of all of us we don't do something. There's nothing to do. We don't have the answer. Maybe it was always supposed to end this way. I could just let it be. Let it be. Yes, that's it. You genius. Get the manifold. The freelance removed it from its original housing after it affected the Dominion soldiers. And when we divide it, you severed the connection again, out of fear. Courage. Oh, hold on, where are you going with this? Manifold needs more time. It needs to go through its full cycle. We're going to have to let the manifold complete what it started. Let reality settle. But if it settles, that means our division could become permanent. That's so bad. Certainly won't be dull. What do you say? Yet for a new adventure? Always. of uh, liquefying? Time will tell. But now we have enough to help out with your Dawn Shield. Really? Yeah, especially with the data Sumner found. Does this mean Matthias will never be whole again? Who, Who says, says we, we are whole? whole? Because, you know, dress yeah, right? Because it's a little bit of 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 a little bit
Thanks for playing. You've completed your missions and helped Matthias with his search for the artifact, okay? Continue playing by banding together with other freelancers to explore free play or face the challenge of the tyrant minor stronghold. So what? Are we, we already have completed the missions. This is bizarre. The producer said that there's about eight hours of content in there, so... To explore free play, okay. We have to see what free play is about, because we were doing the missions, right? So let's see. No, that wasn't it. Options we need to click on. Critical objectives, completed quests. Triple threat, okay. Inverse functions. Uh, outcome. Aruna called the Akanist, who may offer perspective on the Matthias's condition, has been rescued. So we had rescued Aruna. Mm. It's not complete, really, because we were doing a few other things in there as well. Strongholds, Tyrant Mine. Okay, we can probably can do that as well. Features, general features, mission complete. No, it doesn't really look like we would have done any of this. Okay, challenges. Trials. A lot to complete in there. Complete the challenges. There are several missions. Stronghold. Okay, stronghold we need to do. Okay. If we go outside, So we want to see the loadout, salt launcher, and equipped, okay, weapons. Here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. Okay, we completed it, but I wonder whether we can get something from the vault. A mess out here? You can't turn around without tripping over something. We got some loot, but where did this loot go?
I don't know. I'm a bit confused about the options in here. But we'll keep it as it is, I guess. And then let's see whether the gameplay on free play will be better than this. Lichman took us. When I first came here, there were banners hanging in the enclave. I wonder when they all came down. It's telling us about the banners. Academy Ruins. Mm. Oh, the mine is going to be there, okay. Is it going to bring us in or do we have to restart again is the question. So this is a separate mission compared to the other missions which we were doing. This should be like a raid. So we'll see. Well, just to summarize. Anthem does look like a huge potential of a game and the trouble we are having, all of us, is with those technical problems. We've seen many people complaining on Twitter and indeed there are about 17,000 members of EA who have complained about many issues which were plaguing their access to the VIP demo. So you've seen tonight also in my gameplay that it was laggy and then glitchy lag was preventing me from reaching certain areas in time and glitches were preventing me and the enemies from killing each other sorry not good at all and by the looks of it this is not loading either and i'll have to be resuming my broadcast yet again for the umptiest time and i'm literally you know sick to the back of my teeth need to do that because this is just not on if you're talking about some independent developer with little revenue, you would understand it. But this is really one of the top notch companies on the planet in this industry. And they're obviously not doing what's required to remedy the problem. The second day running on this VIP demo, and just think about it. £80 has been invested by everyone who pre-ordered the Legion of Dawn edition. And people are very unhappy. And I've seen quite a few messages saying they will be cancelling their purchase and they will not be playing the game. I think this is a bit too harsh. I mean, you have to understand that uh, this is still a game which is, well, it's no longer in development because they said the other day that they've gone into production of physical products. So principally, uh, you know, th there should have been a lot more thought given to the possible difficulties. But um, Casey Hudson, did say yesterday that he, they discovered this was not server related issue so the question is what is it related to then 
It has to be said Bioware are not well known for the multiplayers and that may be one of the reasons compared to some of the other companies obviously um, it's the first big entirely multiplayer type of game which they produ produced and there may be a, a reason as to why then certain glitches and problems are transpiring but this, that's no excuse at all I think considering they, they obviously had a thought that all the people who pre-ordered would be a limited number and in addition to that lots of uh, free coins for the Epidem also dished out and sold and therefore perhaps the capacity of the service uh, was simply not big enough for the influx of gamers coming in yesterday but today we are talking about the second 24 hours under the Epidem and the problems are persisting and they're exactly the same I can't see any difference whatsoever compared to yesterday so this is really infuriating if I could see just a slight difference the major problems are basically not being able to load the game because you get what we are getting at the moment which is infinite loading and then the other is once you get into the missions the missions are laggy and glitchy and they're not allowing you to be experiencing uh, the actual gameplay I did see one of the characters in our last mission being simply static and held in a bubble in there and he couldn't do a thing so probably he was affected by the same kind of lag as myself what else I mean I can't think of anything else and for whatever reason we're able to kill the enemy and the bosses but um, it just seemed intermediate in terms of our access to the arena I think some other guys were having less of a problem from what I could see in the gameplay so it may well be that the servers which are UK based or related to the UK region are particularly bad I don't know it just you know my own assumption but as you could see yet again for the umpteenth time I'm trying to load the mission I'm failing I get this infinite loading screen and of course I have to restart everything yet again and create yet another broadcast with all the uh, content which is required for it and this is really infuriating and simply it is spoiling the entertainment for every single viewer it's also spoiling the enjoyment and the excitement that people would have had about the demo it's not the first time it's happened but I have to say it's particularly bad it literally is just absolutely modern play with lots of different problems and it's persisting on the second day running and I just wonder considering that we are going to be having an open game demo next weekend which means everybody who wants to come in will be able to join well are we going to have enough bandwidth and strength on those servers for everyone to be supported or is it going to be complete burnout for everyone involved well we'll have to see and there are lots of requests coming in through many EA members for this demo to be significantly extended because people could not have a smooth gameplay on the demo at all and I can fully understand it because I had exactly the same sort of problem and the uh, missions which I completed well the first one I actually could watch for a full duration of everything but for the second two or the last three or the next three I had been brought into the midst of the action and indeed therefore I missed out on the overall experience of the mission which is not preferable so my dear friends I have to yet again discontinue my broadcast and then reload the game and come back with another broadcast which is infuriating but I have no other options or choices left as you can see we can spend here the entire night and wait until next Christmas before this whole thing would load and you know perfectly well that it simply we'd actually uh, receive our Christmas presents beforehand before the game actually began to work so there you go we better be off now reloading a game and please stay with us and I will be back literally within a minute